It's a lot of press. Very lot Good. of press. I'm shocked. It is a great pleasure to welcome President Erdogan for his first visit to the White House in years. The American and Turkish peoples have been friends and allies for many, many decades. Turkey was a pillar in the Cold War against communism. It was a bastion against Soviet expansion. And Turkish courage in war is legendary. That is so true. Turkish soldiers fought bravely alongside of American soldiers in the Korean War, and we haven't forgotten what they did. In some ways, when we looked at their great bravery in the fight of Korea and in Korea, it was uh, just something that our soldiers and our great generals still remember. Supreme Commander General Douglas MacArthur singled out and praised the exemplary valor of the Turkish soldier, said some of the great soldiers of the world. Today, we face a new enemy in the fight against terrorism, and again, we seek to face this threat together. The Turkish people have faced horrible terrorist attacks in recent years and even recently. We offer our compassion to the victims, and we offer our support to the Turkish nation. We support Turkey in the first fight against terror and terror groups like ISIS and the PKK and ensure they have no safe quarter, the terror groups. We also appreciate Turkey's leadership in seeking an end to the horrific killing in Syria. The Syrian civil war shocks the conscience of the whole world. And all you have to do is look on the front page of the papers today, and you'll see exactly what we're talking about. We also support any effort that can be used to reduce the violence in Syria and create the conditions for a peaceful resolution. President Erdogan and I are also discussing the need to reinvigorate our trade and commercial ties. These are areas where we can build our relationship that will benefit both of our countries. Military equipment was ordered by Turkey and the President, and we've made sure that it gets there quickly. I look forward to working together with President Erdogan on achieving peace and security in the Middle East, on confronting the shared threats, and on working toward a future of dignity and safety for all of our people. Mr. President, thank you for visiting our country and joining us today at the White House. It is a great honor to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you. Sayın Başkan, değerli dostum, değerli basın mensupları, sizleri en kalbi duygularımla, saygıyla selamlıyorum. Mr. President, my dear friend, distinguished members of the press, at the onset I'd like to wholeheartedly salute you all. Öncelikle Amerika Birleşik Devletleri Başkanı Sayın Trump'a ve ekibine şahsım ve heyetime gösterdikleri ilgiden dolayı şahsım milletim adına şükranlarımı ifade ediyorum. And I would like to take this August opportunity to thank President Trump and his team for the generous hospitality they have shown us upon arrival, not only to my personal self, but to the entire members of my delegation on behalf of the entire Turkish nation. Thank you, Mr. President. Bir kez daha huzurlarınızda Sayın Trump'ı seçimlerde elde ettiği tarihi zafer için kutluyorum. And once again in your presence, I would like to congratulate President Trump for the legendary triumph that he has garnered in the aftermath of the elections. Sayın Başkan'la az önce ikili bir görüşme gerçekleştirdik. Quite recently we've had bilateral discussions with President Trump. Köklü geçmişe dayanan ve stratejik ortaklık düzeyine erişmiş olan Türkiye Amerika Birleşik Devletleri ilişkilerinin mevcut durumunu ele aldık. And we've had the opportunity to focus on the outstanding relations between Turkey and the United States that date back a long time in history, which are very well rooted and which are quite uh, happily reached a level of strategic partnership. Türkiye ile Amerika arasındaki bağlar demokratik değerler ve müşterek menfaatler temelinde gelişmiştir. 
the relations between Turkey and the United States have been erected upon common democratic values and common interests. Aramızdaki ilişkileri güçlü tutmamız, karşılıklı çıkarlarımız yanında küresel barış ve istikrar için de önemlidir. Keeping our outstanding relations stronger than ever will be very important not only for our common interests but also stability of the globe and peace around the world. Bölgemizin içinden geçtiği bu çalkantılı dönemde özellikle de iki ülkenin göstereceği yakın işbirliği her zamankinden çok daha büyük önem kazanmıştır. The close cooperation that the both of the countries shall demonstrate especially in the region which is currently in turmoil will be very important for the rest of the world. Esasen Amerika ile Birleşmiş Milletler NATO ve G20 gibi kilit kuruluşlar içinde zaten yakın işbirliği içindeyiz. And primarily we are alongside by each other as Turkey and the United States under the roof of the United Nations, NATO and the G20. Önümüzdeki süreçte bu platformlar başta olmak üzere her alanda diyalog ve dayanışmamızı daha da artırmanın kararındayız. We have been enjoying a close cooperation in all of these platforms in all in all of these four around the world and in the future to come we are going to focus on making sure that we're going to expand expand our close cooperation and build on the outstanding dialogue that we enjoy. Doğrusu ben bu ziyaretimizi bu bakımdan tarihi bir dönüm noktası teşkil edeceğine inanıyorum. We are determined to expand our relations and I believe my current official visit to the United States will mark a historical turn of tide. Gerek ikili görüşmemiz, gerek biraz sonra yapacağımız heyetler arası görüşmenin geleceğimize yönelik çok daha büyük kazanımlar elde edeceğimize fırsat tanıyacağına inanıyorum. Whether it be throughout our bilateral discussions, whether it be the discussions that we shall have between the delegations, I think we are going to enjoy some further gains in terms of the future of our relations. Ekonomi, ticaret, yatırım, enerji ve savunma sanayi alanlarında işbirliğimizi artırma konusunda hemfikiriz. We seem to agree on expanding further relations, expanding our relations in the field of economy, trade, reciprocal investments, energy and defense industry. Diyanet başta olmak üzere bölgemizdeki tüm terör örgütlerine karşı müşterek bir dayanışma ortaya koymamız büyük önem ifade etmektedir. It is going to be very important for us to forge a close solidarity and cooperation in the field of in the field of fighting terrorism primarily with Daesh and all the other terrorist organizations in the region. Ortak geleceğimizi tehdit eden terör örgütlerine karşı ayrım yapmadan mücadele etmekte kararlıyız. And we are committed to fighting all forms of terrorism without any discrimination whatsoever that impose a clear and a present threat upon our future. Bölgemizin geleceğinde terör örgütlerine yer yoktur. There is no place for the terrorist organizations in the future of our region. Özellikle YPG, PYD terör örgütünün hangi ülke tarafından olursa olsun muhatap olarak alınması bu konuda küresel düzeyde varılan mutabakata kesinlikle uygun değildir. Taking YPG and PYD in the region, uh, in taking them into consideration in the region will never be accepted and it is going to be against a global agreement that we have reached. Aynı şekilde terör örgütlerinin faaliyetlerini bahane ederek bölgenin inanç ve etnik yapısını değiştirmek isteyenlere de izin vermemeliyiz. And we should never allow those groups to manipulate the, uh, the religious structure and the ethnic structure of the region making terrorism as a pretext or an excuse. Suriye, Irak, Yemen ve Libya'daki kaosu fırsata çevirmek isteyenler eninde sonunda kaybedeceklerdir. Those who are willing to turn the chaos in Syria, Iraq, Yemen and Libya are bound to lose eventually. İki müttefikin dayanışma ve yakın işbirliği eli kanlı cinayet şebekelerini bertaraf etmek için kafidir. They will never be able to turn that chaos in that part of the world into an opportunity and the terrorist organizations with blood in their hands are bound to fail. Daha önce de ifade ettiğim gibi Sayın Başkan'a 15 Temmuz darbe girişiminin faili FETÖ terör örgütü konusundaki beklentilerimizi de açıkça ifade edeceğim. And as I have previously done so, I have been very frankly communicating our expectations with regard to the Fethullahist organiz terrorist organization, which we have notified our uh, friends of their involvement in the failed coup of July the 15th in Turkey. Suriye ve Irak'ta atabileceğimiz ortak adımları değerlendirdik. And we have taken into consideration the joint steps that we can take forward in Syria and Iraq. 
Tabii Sayın Trump'ın seçim zaferi Türkiye'nin de içinde bulunduğu bölgede yeni beklentilerin doğmasına, umutların filizlenmesine yol açmıştır. Of course President Trump's recent election victory has led to the awakening of a new set of aspirations and expectations and hopes in our region. Biz yeni ABD yönetiminin bu umutları boşa çıkarmayacağına inanıyoruz. And we know that by the help of the new US administration these hopes these hopes will not be lost in vain. Bilhassa Suriye rejiminin son kimyasal saldırısı sonrası takınılan kararlı tutumu oldukça yerinde buluyoruz. Mm -hmm. And we find that it was the most necessary answer to be given to the Syrian regime especially in the aftermath of the recent chemical attacks that took place. Terör örgütleriyle ilkeli ve kararlı mücadele konusunda geçmişte yaşanan hataları telafi edecek adımların devamının geleceğini ümit ediyoruz. And we know that in terms of keeping up with the principle and committed fight against the terrorist organizations all around the world, we will not repeat the mistakes of the past and we will continue down this path together. Bölgesel istikrar ve güvenliğin temininde Türkiye Amerika Birleşik Devletleri işbirliği çok önemlidir. In the restoration and the establishment of stability and security of the region in question, the alliance and the partnership and cooperation between the United States and Turkey is of vital importance. Sayın Trump ile istişarelerimizi yoğunlaştırma, işbirliğimizi bundan sonra da kararlı bir şekilde devam ettirmenin inanıyorum ki kararlılığı içindeyiz. I hope and pray that both of us will be committed to expanding further our cooperation in the future along with consulting each other more frequently. Bugün temellere atılan yeni dönemin ülkelerimiz açısından hayırlara vesile olmasını diliyorum. We are laying the foundation of a new era between the two countries in terms of our relations. I hope and pray that this new administration will bring forth auspicious results for the relations. Sayın Başkan'a nazik daveti ve konukseverliği için teşekkür ediyorum. Kendilerini de en yakın zamanda ailesiyle bilgide birlikte Ülkemde ağırlamaktan memnuniyet duyacağımı ifade etmek istiyorum. And I would like to thank President Trump for his very kind and cordial invitation. And I'm looking forward to hosting him in Turkey along with his entire family. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. We're going to go to meetings now. Well, we had a very, very successful meeting with the Foreign Minister of Russia. Uh, our fight is against ISIS. Uh, as General McMaster said, uh, I thought he said, and I know he feels, that we had a, actually a great meeting with the Foreign Minister. So uh, we're going to have a lot of great success over the next coming years, and we want to get as many to help fight terrorism as possible. And that's one of the beautiful things that's happening with Turkey. Uh, the relationship that we have together will be unbeatable. So thank you all very much. I appreciate it. We're going to meeting right now. Thank you.